Now, where should I start? Hello, I'm Dee Dee Dweller, and this is Palea First Looks. I am truly excited to be a part of the closed beta and to bring you guys along with me on this journey. So let's create a character. And so it begins. Okay, we are going to customize a character. Um, I think, yeah, either this one or this one, but I am kind of leaning towards here. So let's go this way. I think I'm more just here in like the olive range. My color, super light. <laughs> I've seen a lot of comparisons made for this game already, everything from Stardew Valley to Dreamlight Valley, but I definitely also get the Sims vibe as well. Okay, that one for sure. And let's pick out some hair. I'm not gonna fib with you guys. I have actually been through Create a, create a Character in the, uh, the alpha testing, so I'm a little bit familiar with these, so I'm, if I'm going a little fast, I apologize. But I sort of know what I want my character to look like. And one of the really cool things that they've done here in Palea, or Palia, however you want to pronounce it, is they actually let you do dual tone for hair. And so I like to kind of mix mine up. I've got my own white blonde and black combo, and I can replicate that here in the game, which is really fun. I can try it with a couple of different looks. There's a few different hairstyles that um, this looks really good on. I really do like the messy bun though. I feel very, uh, <laughs> very drawn to the messy bun look. I think it just, it really works for my aesthetic. So we're gonna go with this. And for eyebrows, we can actually just bring those down to match. We can reverse the patterns too. So here we can sort of just do a strip or we can do a little bit more of like a blended look. I wonder what it would look like reversed if we reversed these uh, colors. Like if we did black as the main and then the white strip as just sort of the accent color here. And what does that look like reversed? It kind of brings the white up through the back as well. I might rock the reversed uh, color scheme here for now. Let's go in here. I'm not gonna wear any glasses, so now it's time for wardrobe. They've got a lot of wardrobe choices here before you even enter the uh, store with the paid for cosmetics. I really like this jacket. It's funny that it started with this one because I just, it just, it's so piratey. I really like it a lot. I think it just, oh, that's a really nice color too. We gotta try it with the pants. And there are a couple different pant options that have these high boots. Which I really like because again it's still just giving pirate um and I for some reason I'm just really 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 going for a pirate aesthetic I do like this together these colors are looking really good to me and um it looks like we have the option to also add in some makeup here which I'm kind of liking it does have this like reddish eyeshadow in the corners here of the eyes which is different but I don't hate it yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do the winged makeup. That's fine. All right, we're gonna finish our look. Confirm. We'll do DD Dweller all lowercase, and then my character's nickname. This will be the one that we see in game. We're gonna like make it DD Dweller like that. Time for you to go out into the world. I have high hopes. For what you can accomplish. Okay, this is where the game really begins, and it's absolutely beautiful. We're gonna start off with an animatic. Absolutely stunning.
there she is. Dina, oh my dragon. Okay, so we're gonna like sort of establish a personality <laughs> with some of our answers here. Um, I honestly have no idea for water types, air types, more like from a spiraling pink void, which is true. I'm not sure, but I'm glad to be here. And well, I'm here, aren't I? We know that we came from a spirally pink void, so I'm gonna click that. <laughs> right, well, we'll talk about it later once you're settled Aww. in. We should slow down. Why don't you take the map and head into town where you can talk to Shura, the innkeeper. He's been helping with the others like you getting settled in. I would help you myself, but I'm working on something here and I am this close to figuring it out. Also, Gina needs new glasses. Her glasses are broken. <laughs> I was so caught off guard. I realized I forgot to introduce myself or explain why I'm here. My name's Gina. I am an apprentice scholar researching these old ruins. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have um, typical ASDW and look around using the mouse. I understand, so we're gonna be able to... Okay, hit space bar to jump. Press the up arrow to toggle sprint and get a longer jump. Some obstacles we climbed with uh, W, proceeding into the next room by jumping and climbing. Understood. And we're gonna climb up. Oh, somebody just ran past me. But it looks like we're all sort of populating here. That was a nice transition. We've made it! We're in Paleo! That is so exciting. All right, us and several other people, it would seem. So let's go check this place out. We are in the ruins, like Gina said, so we're just gonna need to head out. Look at these glowing trees. I'm gonna have to head out here. I see someone named Krill. Hello. I, can I wave now? I can. There we go. The T key on your keyboard will bring up your emotes. All right. This is so fun. Oh, look, we can chat. Welcome, Phoenix's child. Cheyenne says, another child of the Phoenix joins our little village. I must say today is a lovely day to be born. Ah. Cheyenne is the local spiritual sage, a uh, devotee of Maji, the great dragon. So how are you feeling? Uh, the world is amazing. Keep that positivity, you'll overcome any troubles. Okay, let's keep going. And yes, we'll need to take this path toward the village and the big building with a key out front. Feel free to return any time. And that is our first mission. Hello, Moon Pies. Good to see you. Let's say hi Hello. to everyone. There's Tish and somebody um, who seems to be glitching out pretty badly. Welcome to the valley. If you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. Nice chatting okay, with you. Cool. But again, we have a mission. We're looking for a building with a key on it. Oh look, uh, there's the walking skeleton again. That's so odd. Alright, so that's not a key. That's a chair. Uh, carrots. Needle and thread. Tavern. Drinks. An anvil. Let's say hi. I've got the best metal you'll find. So this is the blacksmith around these Ooh. parts. The famous monster slayer. Okay, so I became a mother and realized angering dangerous species was, well, a little too dangerous for my young son. So I took up the position of town blacksmith. These days make blades instead of wield them. Stay safe out there. All right, so we're trying to go in here to Shura. 
Which looks like I skipped it. It's probably one building back, the tavern. Well, I didn't see a key on the tavern, but that's okay. We can head back over here. And inside, we speak with Ashura. Another beautiful day. Despite being so new, I've definitely already seen some daddy jokes about Ashura. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now, but we do have small plots to the northeast where you can build yourself a tent. Oh. What do you say? You want to take in the great outdoors? Nothing like sleeping under the stars. I'm going to just keep going with this positivity uh, streak that I'm on. We've got an axe, and we'll have to talk to the miner Hodari about a pick. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plot right now. You'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. Here, I've marked the spot on your map. Good to know. And maybe I'll just... Oh. A quick wave to Boxy and Catherine here. Oh, well, let's come talk to some other folks. Let's meet Red. Care to try my world? <laughs> looking for the plots? Just take the road up the hill. And if you're looking for delicious soup and stew, instead, I'm your guy. Whoa. Name's Reth, but you can call me Trouble. Stop by later, yeah? Always happy to chat with a friendly new face. Fabulous. Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> I like that. Good talk. Finally, someone nice to talk to. Aww. That sounds like he's had a rough time. He is mayor of this village, and it is a great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. It is a pleasure to be here. Fabulous. But let's go find this plot of land. They said to the northeast. There's east. That must be north. Okay, so and I'm just looking at my compass, by the way, at the top toolbar across the top of screen. Whoa. Little beastie there. And we're almost there. Here we go. The home plots. Hey, there's another animatic. It's so cool to see your custom character walk in these things. Those are chapas. Or is it chupas? Ah. He's so steampunk. <laughs> His fit to me looks very steampunk, and you know what? I'm for it. I've already picked out mine, what which is, is also kind of in the same vein, just saying. Hodari, mmm, coming along. A lot of trash left, though. Oh, and hi. <laughs> uh, he is the miner. What can I do you for? Ashura sent me for a pickaxe. We could straight the point, but you can tell me how you got those biceps. Am I in the right place? Hi, I'm Dee Dee Dweller. I'm sorry, I have to. I have to. <laughs> oh, uh, mostly from mining, I guess. Huh. If you're interested in working out, why don't you take this pick? I see you got an axe already. Always good to have the right tools for the right job. Use them both to clear the debris, would you? Mining's hungry work, so you better take this too. My daughter says you need to eat healthier, but you'll get more use out of it. You're still so, here, huh? We press R to open our tool wheel, and we hover over tool to, and release it to equip it. This reminds me of Animal Crossing in a good way. R? Okay, so we got an axe and a... Or, uh, yeah, an axe and a pickaxe. And by the way, he also gave us something down here. This uh, food, if we eat that, let's see if I can eat it. There we go, so we've gained 50 focus points. And if you look at the top left of screen next to my day and at my name, there we go, focus bar. My focus increases experience gained from all sources and is regenerated by eating. So now that we did that, we should probably start taking advantage of the focus, so. We're gonna start by mining. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna grab that. Um, I might need to change equipment here for cutting this. And this is just gonna become a little tedious, but also kind of relaxing. If you enjoy farming sims, this is definitely like a little mindless gameplay action. With the satisfaction of having cleaned up and customized your plot. And there's something new. I have no idea 
This is ancient thing. It's unclear what this is meant to be, but it sure looks important and ancient. Maybe someone will know what it is. Okay, so we're going to, to figure that out, but I have no idea what that is right now. We have our quest items. Clear some debris from the plot. We did that. We return to Hodari. Oh, okay. Is he still in the plot? Let's turn around and see. He is. So let's Go talk on. to him again. Yeah. Still lots to do, but it's a start. I found something weird. Found a lot of strange things in the mines, but not sure what it is. Well, you found it. You keep it. It's your plot. I've got other plots to inspect, but there should be, there should be space to drop this work table down now. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. Okay, so place your benches. We have a workbench that we need to put down. Uh, it says select it from the action bar using the number hotkey and then press the left mouse. Rotate the station using Q and E. All right, let's see, number seven from the hotkey. Uh, okay, we're gonna stick this here. I have a workbench now, fabulous. I don't know if anybody can see this when I just drop this here since I'm in my home plot, but it was worth a shot. We'll see if anybody responds. Everybody's saying hi, that's so exciting. I love it, everybody's being so friendly. Everybody's so excited. Yay. Eyes inventory. What's this? News? I have news. A founder reward. Congratulations, DD Dweller. You are one of the very first players to join the world of Palea. Please enjoy this welcoming gift from us. We hope it makes your journey more eventful. That's so exciting. That's so sweet. I've almost cleared the front. All right, so I actually have here on the right of my screen some uh, uh, tasks I have to fulfill, some missions some quest if you will <laughs> and here in a moment i think i should have enough material to do them oh no it's warning me that my focus is low i should probably eat another one of these i'm gonna want to start getting better food than eating raw mushrooms because my focus doesn't stay high for very long timber it almost fell on me but i'm sure i'm fine Tree Chopper 1 hit you to view your accomplishments. Sick. <laughs> I've got some achievements, some badges. That's exciting. It'll be fun to fill those up. Let's go back to our crafting bench here for a second and see if we have enough items to do some of these missions. So let's make a tent. First of all, we need a place to sleep and live and thrive. And here we go. Um, That's now in my inventory. So number two... And we're going to place this. Oh, look! Ani's here! Let's talk to Ani. Oh. You haven't left yet, and I wanted you to have your mail. And I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day. Rain or shine, six in the morning, and six at night. So, I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. I love getting mail! <laughs> Good, then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Come on, go and check it out, your first delivery. Okay, let's see, where do I, oh, mailbox, of course. We have some mail, so let's open it. Dear Dee Dee Dweller, I have been informed by Gina that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Enar, and I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Please take this rod into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll mark that as red and then we'll check the next one. A little less friendly. To whom it may concern. City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. You will find a bow and set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in their use during work hours. You can find me in the Kalima village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. So there we go. Let's go ahead and take all of these items and then mark this as red. Very nice. And we'll talk to Uni again. How's it going? So how are you settling in? This plot is huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week, but all I ever seem to find is rocks. For. Yeah. Okay, new mission. Take the little tubey thing to Gina. Oh yeah, I almost forgot in all my excitement I brought you a present ah. too. 
a Bug Scout's official belt and a set of smoke bombs. I'm a member of Kalima's Best and Only Bug Catching Club. I've got to run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. You know everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race ya. Catch you later, okay? Sounds good. Un Uni's definitely going to win that. Let's race Uni to town. That sounds like a good idea, but we're going to go this way. I don't know where he went. We're going to go this way back to town. The way we came. And by the way, I'm just hitting the uh, shift key to toggle the run. I think earlier it said the up arrow, but honestly, shift works for me. Check out that roll animation. That's amazing. <laughs> just cliff diving. Oh, but here we go. We're going to climb. We've got that little stamina bar for trying to climb. And, oh gosh, ignore that. I'm, I'm terrible at running. Man, I'm hungry. All right, so we're here. Awesome. You've got your belt and your smoke bombs, right? Before we get started, you gotta take the Bug Scout Oath. Repeat after me. I promise to honor nature and all its creatures to always lend others a helping hand, and most importantly, tell Uni if you see anything really cool. We're gonna promise. All right, welcome to Bug Scouts. Why don't you try to catch something easy to start? Remember though, certain bugs will only come out at certain times. <laughs> Sangrea, hello. Um. It appears if I come in here to talk to some of these folks, Good I'll be able to, to you. progress my missions. So Ashura, I know starting out in a new place can be tough, but you're doing great. I thought I'd help you out. Got a couple of recipes for purchase that might make your life a little easier. You'll probably want to get a sawmill first thing to turn some of that wood into planks. I don't have any money. Actually, how do I know how much money I have? None. I have no money. <laughs> Uh, these recipes sound great, friend, but I don't have money. We'll come back to this when I have money. Try not to work too hard out there. All right, well, let's talk to Ruth then. Man, it's busy here today. Can you teach me to cook? That seems important. Well, you gotta learn to walk before you can swim, unless you're a fish, but I'm like 97% sure you're human. <laughs> Why don't you start out by making a campfire and then grill some shrooms? Hmm. Oh, and you don't want to get stuck in a tent for the rest of your life. Probably a good idea to take um, Kinlan next. He's the mayor, but hey, I won't judge either way. We'll chat with Ruth too to help with those friendship points. Man, I'm really hankering for some food made by someone not me at a place not here. Get tired of smelling the same thing day in, day out. My nose is always like, come on, Ruth, give it a break from the soup already. Oh. Wait, what am I saying? Sorry, can't stay in chat. No worries, friend, no worries. I can't stay in chat either. I'm gonna keep moving. There's Jell. Hello, Jell. Hello. He is the most renowned fashion empire in the whole of the province, um, but we haven't heard of you because we just materialized out of thin air. Inspiration can come at any moment. Best to be working when it finds you. I must you. get back to my work. Enjoy your work, my dude. Uh, I already talked to Shura. Hello, human. How are you liking the village? Is it better than your underground lair? Mmm, I am kind of curious about the blue stuff above our heads. Do we have blue stuff above our heads? You really do not know? That's the sky and the big yellow ball is called the sun. Oh no. I always knew the humans were not really extinct as a so-called scientist at the academy like to claim. They were far too advanced to let something as small as an asteroid knock you out. What are we, the dinosaurs? Okay, my theory is that you've been living underground all these years, sealed away in some ancient vault for protection. And only a matter of time before you emerged. <laughs> I get to rework all my theories. Eloise is going to be one of my favorites because she's got the best, like, off the wall, left field <laughs> conspiracies. So keep a metaphysical mind out there, okay? Learn something new is so invigorating. So many mysteries. Sounds great. So I forgot what I was doing. I think I was trying to find... Oh, she got further away. See, she's on the move. I guess we're just gonna have to go find her. We gotta find Gina and ask her about the strange artifact that I have. So, uh, we're gonna go around the hill rather than climbing up it. Oh wait, what is this? Can I mine this? There's a red stone coming out of this. Yes. Hey, it's in the name, okay folks? Distracted Desk Dweller. I get distracted. It's 
<laughs> it's a little bit unavoidable sometimes. But we're back on point. We're, we're on a mission. We're gonna find Gina. Uh, we're gonna chase off all these elk looking things. She wasn't that far away after all. Alright, hello Gina. There aren't enough hours in the day. Hello Didi, it's good to see you again. Did you get settled in alright? Really, what is it? Oh. oh, well, I can't believe it. That thing is an ancient flow battery. Lovely, she knows the answer. There is a power... I can see that person running around behind her. It's so funny. There's a power source for the ancient humans I've been looking at. <laughs> okay, I've been looking uh, all over something like this. Oh. Are you saying you just found it under some old junk? I <laughs> guess it's just your lucky day. It might take me a bit to figure out what it does, but she'll send us a letter. Caviar around is going to be good for me. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There's another. Oh, look. I can climb up these ruins. First of all, we haven't stopped to really pause and appreciate this landscape. Look at this. Look at that mountain. Just gorgeous. And check this out. We can take pictures, screenshots in game, which is really fun. Let's look around. Let's get this kind of like where we want it. Nice, nice, nice. And then we'll take the picture. And uh, we can do a selfie. Yeah, we can. Um, well, let's just, we'll just take it just like that. And now we have this beautiful mountain view that we can save to our album. We have the selfie we can save to our album. <gasps> oh, I think I just deleted it. Well, now I learned something. <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> Screenshot save. Oh, it's still there. Let's get out of camera mode and continue. I really love the way everything is spread out and how beautiful it looks. It's so aesthetic. It looks like... Ah, the roll gets me every time. Just imagine how wonderful it's going to be to run around here with friends. Look at these animals. Look at that. Looks like something from Star Wars. They're just massive. Okay, moving on. Just, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we have fast travel. The little horseshoes take you to these fast travel uh, icons. Very fun. I have no money to spend on fast travel yet. I still have to earn some money, so let's get about doing that. I think I am running the wrong direction, though. Maybe we should head back this way. What do you think so far? Do you think you'll play this game? Leave a comment down in the comments below. There's a yellow flag. I think I need to talk to that guy. What brings you around here? Badru! Well, if it is another friend I haven't met yet, I am Badru, the farmer, and I sense we have some good times ahead. <laughs> Did I mention in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy? Well, wow. let's see if you can teach us to garden. You came to the right place if you care it about fresh, quality produce. Tell you what, meet me on your plot later and he'll walk us through the steps. Sounds Whoa. good. And Eshi... Make your case or quickly. Ishi, She's going to be a hard one to win over. I'm sure you want to talk to me about securing a house permit. Oh. Well, it's nice to want things. I want a crown jewel, but you don't see me prancing around in a tiara. If you need someone to hold your hand, talk to my husband. He can drone on for hours about the beauty of a burlap sack dancing in the wind. Such friendly hole is always there to help. She's a friendly lady. <laughs> this is City Hall. Let's go talk to our fella in City Hall. Wait, 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 we haven't met Kenyatta yet. Let's do that. Oh, I can't. There we go. Today just seems to drag on and on and on. Sup, you're new, right? Kenyatta, glorified city hall receptionist. Her parents run the place, and you should probably go talk to one of them. But if you want to get to some trouble, hit me up. If you're looking for my dad, he's in his office. If you're looking for my mom, can I ask you why? No, we just met her. She was a lovely lady. <laughs> Because I would highly recommend you don't. This was tons of fun. Understandably so. Let's go find her dad in his office. Hello, Fada. 
Finally, someone nice to talk to. Oh, good, it's you. I was afraid you were Ishii. Oh, his wife. <laughs> well then, <laughs> I wanted to ask you about my house. Um, well, personally, I inherited mine. Have you tried that? Mm. Right, yes, of course, because you've just moved in. The plot didn't come with one. No, sir. No matter. I'll just have uh, the people around here somewhere. Give me a moment. Tell you what, go find Tish, our resident carpenter. I'm sure she'd be delighted to get you started on some new furniture while he locates the forms. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm neck deep in paperwork right now. The arrow indicates this direction. I'm thinking she's inside her furniture shop, so that makes sense. He just sent us to talk to our carpenter. Have you met my brother yet? I don't think so, actually. I don't think we've met her brother yet. Uh. Kinley sent me. I'm so glad you're going to live here. I was trying to come up with a good welcome gift when I realized a house isn't much of a home without furniture. Oh. So here's some simple recipes for you to start with. If you're tired from all your hard work, why not build yourself a place to sit? Uh, Jell insists you have a wardrobe too. He's a tailor and he always says looking your best makes you feel your best. Yes. Sounds good. We got some recipes. Excellent. So we're going to keep it moving. Everybody's in, in run mode. Everybody's hustling and bustling. Wait, what's this person with the exclamation point? I want to follow that person. Just this once. And now we've met Hassan, who sent us the letter earlier with a bow and arrow in it. DD Dweller, I presume. Mm. Don't I look stunned? I know everything that goes on in this village, including when someone new arrives. My name is Hassan, and I'm in charge of maintaining the natural order of the woods that surround the village. Be good to the valley, and we'll have no uh, quarrel. Um. It takes years to learn proper hunting. Start by aiming that bow at something like choppas or a shurnuk. Maybe you will even manage to hit your target. Well, let's say hi to Tao. Boof, boof. Woof 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 woof. Aww. If only we could really give him belly rubs, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Let's say hello to hello, you. Human. How may I tend your needs? I know Gina explores the ruins because it's her oneness, even though she does not call it oneness. But I wonder, why do you explore them? Hmm. You and Gina have a common oneness that is cause for much liberation. I love how excited he Hecla, Hecla just got for that. Everyone knows the best friends are those with a common oneness. Oh, we can be best friends with Gina. Yay. My Gina. That'd be fun. And there goes Ani. So many people around. It's so exciting to see. Hello, person. Time's money. Take it easy. Well, he was too easy. very chatty. I guess... Back to the homestead to continue our mission to get ourselves established. Oh, look who's here to teach us how to farm! For some seeds? <laughs> With all the puns. Bad Roo, good to see you again at Spring Bean. This place is already starting to look different. I uh, bet you're working up an appetite from all the chopping and mining. Gardening! All you have to do is wait a few sun cycles and there you go, dinner, breakfast, even lunch. Aww. And we've got new tools, so there we go, inventory is growing. Let us make this day a great one. And another pun. <laughs> so, gardening. Make sure your gardening plot is on your action bar. Aim at where the garden plot should be placed and press the right click button to make the final placement, okay? Uh, once your plot is down, press and hold R and select the hoe from your tool wheel. Till the ground of the hoe by pressing and holding, again, the uh, left click button. More left clicking, left clicking. Many crops can be harvested once and so the cycle begins again. When the crop is ready, we'll press F. So three on the action bar. There we go. Right click to place it. Here's good. And... Uh, do I have seeds? I don't know. Did we get seeds? Well, hang on a second. I've got another one of these. Oh no! It seems... They don't want to touch. Well, that doesn't look great, but maybe I can fix it later. Hey! Pixel Sean has added you to their friend list. Press enter to show up. And if we open up the friend menu... 
Ah, uh, there we have it. There's Pixel Sean. All right, so now we move to here at the front of our. Yeah. Crafting bench might be giving Animal Crossing vibes, but that and the fire pit are definitely giving Bellheim for me. All right. And we are going to eat that, I think, because we're so low on focus. There we go. And look, the cooked mushrooms did so much more for my focus bar than the raw ones I was eating before. Oh, I think this is what I'm missing. I think the part that I'm skipping is this. Who needs sleep, right? She can just work through the night. She's a night owl and an early bird. And a midday bird, too. She's an all day bird. Which also reminds me, I don't really have all day to do this, but with the time that I do have, would you guys be interested in seeing live streams of Palea and sort of following my progress there and joining me when it's open to join? Oh, look. Uh, how do I pick that up? Do I just keep. Tilling, and then it picks it up. There we go. So my first tilling discovery, I've gained some kind of base it looked like. I'll have to check it out here soon. Can I help you out? All right, so seeds don't plant and water themselves. Uh. We're gonna need them. And these are our housewarming gifts. So he's gonna give us some seeds. All right. Um, and we can pick them up at Ziki's store if we need more. Well, I can't wait to see you again, neighbor. Uh, that would have been funnier if you'd given us wheat seeds. Call me an <laughs> orange, because I'll see you around. Nice. All right. So, yeah. Watering can. Refill watering cans from the nearby pool. Simply equip the water can and press the right click button near a valid source of water. R press R to select it and then left click to pour it. So let's go fill up this water. The foley for this is so good. And we'll come back over here and do some watering. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, some we've got some time on our hands before we're able to harvest any carrots or anything like that. So let's look here at our quest because I think gardening we can unpin, bug catching we can pin, fifty up. I'm gonna unpin that for now and pin that hunting. So we have some other yeah we can kind of control what uh, <laughs> missions we put on our toolbar. So we can start hunting. Okay, and maybe even do, oh, I don't know, some bug catching. So let's head back to town and look around. Wait, right there. And just like that. We've hunted. I feel like two. There was just a bug hopping around, but I think I missed it. There is a 1000% chance of me getting completely mindlessly lost playing this. It's both soothing and relaxing, and I love it. Alright, um, so we. Collected that plant. I'm gonna get some more furs too. I think 
In order to get some money, we can actually start selling some of these furs. Future merchant in the making. And, um... Oh, I think I missed. Let's try again. Yes, got it. Brilliant, alright. Oh no, my inventory is full. Dang it. Okay, we are here, but now we need to like... Store or sell some things. I really do wish I could get a backpack upgrade. Well, to do that, I need money. So I guess I'm going to have to sell some stuff before I can store some stuff. So let's do that. Let's go over here and see what can we afford to part with right now. We can sell some chopper furs. Uh, we can sell our bug. How about these flowers? The meats from our hunt. I could also cook those, but um, but for now we will just uh, we'll sell the, these things. I'm gonna sell this butter too for now, and uh, once that sells, we should be able to make some money. What was that I came here for? Just to drop off? Yeah, I think so. Just to drop off some things and clean out clear out my inventory. So let's head back to town. Oh, is this where we go fishing? Wait, is this the fishing shop? What's this? Yeah, this has to be the fishing shop. What? Your lip movements are directed at me. <laughs> I know. Hello. You seem to be another new person, unless you've previously made my acquaintance. Too often distracted by oneness to notice. There seems to be so many new people. It cannot be learned by listening to the sound of air as it moves. <laughs> The experience usually involves much fishing. Speaking of fishing, I got your letter. And you must have received the communications about the pastime. It's customary for tutelage to require work that one does from home. I know there's a word for it, but can't recall. Here, why don't you give that fishing rod on your person a try? I shall be here in case you accidentally fall in. Lovely. Hmm. It was the end of a long day. Can days be different lengths of time? Deeply afraid that I may have misunderstood the nature of the moon cycle. I am not practiced in conversation clothing. Well, that might be the case, but we're gonna try some fishing, so please don't fall in. <laughs> I see a fish jumping over there. I kind of feel like I should be... Hmm, maybe this is as close as I can get. Let's get out the fishing rod. Uh, hold down the left click to see the distance of your cast, and when the target reaches the target release, allow the fish to nibble on the line before setting the hook. Hold down to reel the line in. It sounds like I'm going to do a lot of, uh, left clicking. Dang, I think I, I think I, I think I'm too far away. How do I uncast? Let me back up, because the line passed way further than I realized it would. Hang on, one more time. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Okay. Did I get it this time? I feel like I'm in. I'm not getting a bite. Wait, wait, little bites. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh! No, 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 no. Keep it in the green, keep it in the green, keep it in the green. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, to the side. <gasps> I got it! Yay! Aquariums and terrariums, you've caught a star quality item. Well, that, that was nice on the first try. Uh, star quality bug and fish can be placed in their own terrarium and aquarium. Select the item from the action bar left click to place. Nice! That's so cool. I did it. Feel much oneness today. I have crafted many adornments made from fishing implements. Find them quite aesthetically pleasing. Mm. But wonder if I am the only being who feels this way. Where are you? Aha! The NPCs are one of the most charming parts of this game, and so I've been skipping through a lot of the interactions so that you can experience them for yourselves. <laughs> That's funny. Congratulations, I hope you were able to express the same joy as I derived during this event. However, my time with human taught me your kind drives limited utility from living fish. 
Perhaps there is a more suitable reward for your efforts. I do hope you will choose to continue the activity. Yes, plus five renown. Lovely. The conversation has now ended. Oh yeah, we can zoom out. We can move around. Look at all this. We were just down here. Fisherman's Lagoon. Um, this is home. Maja's Hollow. The pond ruins. That's where you met up with Gina earlier when she was doing her research. Yeah, there's so much to do, so much to see, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. It has been really fun doing this first look with you guys from character creation to setting up camp and meeting most of the residents. And we'll, of course, continue this again later. I'm really glad that you guys chose to watch this video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of this game um, on my channel. I appreciate you being here and hope that you found this video fun, relaxing, and we'll do it again soon. So I'll see you then. Later and bye. Actually, it's a pretty cool shot, right?